spicy patchouli. Spicy patchouli. This uh, incense is banging. If you haven't got the, uh, if you're not on the incense train, then you just need to buy this big thing of it. You get loads of different flavors. Tropical lemongrass and spicy patchouli. Top one so far. Right, today, everyone, I want you to imagine something for me right now. You're at the gym, you're on your last exercise, you're tired, you're aching, you've got two more sets to do, your body's just slowly starting to fail, you're absolutely knackered, but you've got two sets to do. You're already yawning, you're just absolutely fatigued, you decide to call it, you decide to go home, and you tell yourself, look, you've done 90% of a workout, surely that's really good, it's better than nothing, isn't it? You get back after your workout, you've showered, you're all, you had your protein, you're all sat down, you're working. Let's say you're doing your outreach, right? You're just DMing all clients, you're emailing potential clients, you're trying to set up meetings. After a few, your mind just starts to wander. We've all been there. You just pull out Instagram, you just have, scroll up a few reels, like it hooks you in, it always does, and a bit of time goes past. Next thing you know, you're already moving on to the next thing. Let's say you're meeting friends, or you're going out, or you're making dinner and you don't have time for outreach anymore but hey you did a decent amount you did half of what you said you were going to do again it's better than nothing right look this is the mindset that nearly ruined me this is the mindset that i had day in day out settling for less than what i aimed for on a daily basis just all in the name of oh it's better than nothing recently i started to analyze this like was this all right was it all right settling for mediocre was it all right consistently letting myself down and not completing anything every single day look i'd be so much further from where i am now i'd be so much further forward if i just completed everything that i was doing i was doing the steps that i needed to be but i wasn't completing them you really think it's all right to just continue on this lazy mediocre mindset when trying to build your dream life do you really think you'll get there if you carry on like this look recently i have had a breakthrough with my attitude and frankly I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed of what I used to be like. I'm embarrassed about the amount of time I spent on Instagram. I'm embarrassed by all those hours, days, weeks wasted when I could have been moving forward. I was staying still, like getting 60, 70% of the way through. It was enough to keep me where I was. I wasn't moving forwards. And I now realize that I was just falling backwards. Like whatever it was, whether I was watching videos on YouTube or cleaning my room or scrolling Instagram, like, we know we shouldn't do any of these things, so why do we do them? Why do we just cope when we know we have real work to do? It's because of this mental resistance that we face every single day. Our brain's telling us to come back to our comfort zone, not to try harder, not to try grow, stay in your comfort zone. Our brains think of all of these excuses on why we should not do these things that we know will make us better. And it's weird to think, but our brain does hold us back. Like our brain tells us, oh, we're tired, we've done enough, it's time to rest. Or, yeah, but you've done more than, like, done more than this person, so it's all right. Just take a, take a break, especially if you're quite an intelligent person. Your brain will think of intelligent excuses that are very, very hard to recognise as excuses. But that's all that they are, they're excuses for not doing the real work. I'll, ha I'll hold my hands up and say I'm not a saint, I'm not perfect at this. But right now I'm in a position where I recognise these excuses and that's what you need to be able to do. You need to be able to recognise when your brain is actually giving you a cop out. When your brain is saying, oh, that's all right, you've done enough, don't worry about it. You need to be able to spot when this happens because when we spot when this happens, then we can act against it. And here's the solution. Here is the like the holy grail of overcoming mental resistance, the harsh reality is just that you got to do the work. There's no hacks, there's no cheat codes, there's nothing There's nothing else you can do to get around this mental resistance except put in the work and complete what needs doing. There's nothing pretty about it. I'd love to be able to say that when you complete the work you'll feel so much better and rewarded, but sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do the work, you grind through, you're tired, you're knackered, you just want to just have a, you just want to sleep or something when you're so fatigued, but you keep going and you do it, zero recognition, zero reward. That's just sometimes how it is. And you've got to accept that. Sometimes all you can tell yourself is 
that at least you did it. At least you did all the work that you said you'd do. Look, as you're watching this video, you have already thought of that piece of work that needs doing that I'm referring to. You know exactly the tasks that you've been putting off and putting off and just trying to think of an excuse of not to do when you know it will move you towards your dream life. It could be outreach. It could be quitting smoking. It could be quitting alcohol. It could be any of these things that will help move you out of your current situation that you genuinely don't enjoy when you look at it and moving you towards your desired situation. That dream life of freedom, fulfillment, purpose, happiness. Look, that piece of work came to your mind as soon as I said that you need to do it. And I don't care what it is, but after this video, you're putting everything aside. I don't care where you are. I don't care if you're out in the middle of a street or in a coffee shop. You're doing this work. You're focusing on nothing else except getting that work done. Something that I do when I feel myself doing this, I will sit down at my laptop. Usually it's to do with work. I'll sit down at my laptop and I won't get up from the chair until that's done. Now I have been on the verge of pissing my pants in a Starbucks or a coffee shop because I do this. Doing this, sitting down and telling yourself, promising yourself that you're not getting up until it's done just helps prove to yourself how determined, how driven you can actually be. When you understand that fulfillment comes from doing this real work that needs to be done, life becomes simple. When you understand that there are no hacks, there are no cheat codes, there aren't any shortcuts with this, life just becomes a lot less complicated. This is the most important, most fulfilling project that you will ever work on. It's yourself, it's your dream lifestyle. So why would you want to take shortcuts? Why would you want to use cheat codes? You should be embarrassed if you're trying to make this easy, if you're trying to make life easy and find a way around doing the work. Look, I know this is a different video to what I normally make. This is a bit more serious, but this mindset, this attitude shift that I have had recently, I feel so compelled to share it because this is the video that I needed four years ago. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you have a good day and just do the work.